here is how to make a apk file from a kiwi application from python so let's begin uh, the apps you will need in the process are one is termux and second is python 3 and a material file that is optional and your local file manager and chrome browser uh, these are all the apps you will need to make this so all the links are provided in the description So I have created a python file named main.py in the folder name python app. Here I have all the requirements for my python file. So here is the file. Here is how that file looks. So here you need to enter an RGB value. It is a convert to RGB. So here is a simple app that I have made from Kiwi. So this app I am going to convert into an APK on Android. For this you will need um, first of all, step one, you would need all these files in your folder that you can recognize well. So, in the same folder where you have your main.py, create a new folder named .github in small letters. Create. So, in this .github, you would need to create another folder named another folder named workflows. And in this folder, uh, okay, for now create this folder. And in Python 3, now create a new file. And uh, in this, uh, you you will be need to paste a code. So you need to paste that in this uh, file. It is basically the YML YML file. The TV. Save this in the dot uh, GitHub and workflows folder that you have created before. And be sure to name it as build.yml. Yes, build.yml is created. Our Python file is ready. We have all the uh, all the photos that we need. So it's all the, for the files. So first of all, open desktop site <coughs> in your GitHub. Then from here, click on the plus icon, new respiratory and name the respiratory of your wish for now i name you for, okay when it's done you can make it a private or public for now i'll make it public and do not add any files just create the respiratory now you will see here there are many commands that you would need later on in this video first of all you need a access key to your uh, to access the uh, github from a terminal so for that you will first of all you, you will need a security code for that go to settings and in developer settings go to personal access token and from here i have already created personal access token so uh, you, you can see guide on how to get personal access token in github and um, create your own personal access token and save it anywhere after these are all the steps you will need and the part is over now in the py python 3 you you should you have to go to terminal and to pip install bulldozer after you do pip install bulldozer it should install it's already installed for me uh, if you do it will install for you and later you will do bulldozer in it bulldozer dot spec file will be created so in that file uh, that file will be in the root root folder of your app so see here is the builder's dot spec move it move it to the folder that we have solid earlier and here's an see python app so we have to paste that builder's dot spec file here so we'll move and our python app you will paste the builder's dot spec file and later on in the python 3 we'll open that build Spec file. Here's a video video server spec file, and in this you can give the title for your application. For now, I will give RGB HX converter. And for package name, I would give com package name converter. And for domain, I would give com dot you can give anything but make sure in the domain at first it is com dot 
and source deal equals to <coughs> you can change the source deal to anywhere but for now i need the source deal as it is and here py png jpg uh, at kiwi at least all files are allowed if any other files are there like in, in my dot gif file is there so i would add gif so and later on this you can change the version of the app here and requirements are python 3 and kiwi for for me i didn't need string and random but for but for demonstration purpose i have created string and random import for that i would have to in the requirements i would have to after kiwi uh, i would have to write string and random and for the loading screen i would need apple splash so i would cancel this and make it uh, it is in my local folder so i would make it background dot gif and i would also need an icon I, I have also made an icon for icon i will use uh, uh, for uh, for splash uh, please splash i would use these are all the changes i did in the google and respects first uh, now i will save this and may yeah, again see what what are all these steps going on here python app i will create a dot github in that work close build dot yml and background dot png bulldozer dot specs loading gif logo dot png and main dot py these are all the files that i have created in this world now for the termux terminal part uh, first of all we have to give permission for termux to access the file we'll copy and paste it here let's copy it So I have already done it. So it will be given more. Uh, it will erase the data in my app. So I don't want it. But Termix setup storage will give uh, access to your Termix when you first open the app. And I will click no. And now nothing will be changed in my phone. But in your phone, you will get, have access to the storage. And second, set the local file to the file where you have put the main dot py file. For that, you 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 will be first gonna need the See, this is the Python app where I have main.py and every other file I need. So I would first of all copy the path of this file and go to Termix and write cd and paste the path. First of all, I will copy the path and go to Termix and write cd and paste the path. Now it will set the uh, local path to the path where we need this so after you have done this you have to first initialize git git dot init make sure no dot git files are there in your folder before doing this and after we will be going to the github page that we have created before and from here we'll follow all the steps we have already done git init and we have to now we have to add the files to the git so for that I for now I want to add all the files in this folder uh, to the git file so I would do git add double slash double mark and all now all the now first of all it is asking that we have to configure the global and add save so we have to do we have to copy this have to run so it has given us access to the git and now do we will do git add all git add all add and one more and now all the files will be added to the git now we have to follow the steps from here now we will do git commit m first commit so you can give the commit name anything so i would go to git commit yeah and in it so this will be committed to the directly to the git and now we will do git branch m main this will git branch m main this will uh, put the branch to main and now we will copy this from here like We'll copy this and we will paste it in the Termix. Hmm. 
now <coughs> this remote uh, origin is set after the, after you have done this again go to the page and copy the last code git push you origin mail copy this and paste it here now it will ask for the username i will give my username first now now it is asking for the password here comes the main part so first of all i have first informed you to make a security key or the key that i have to access key that i have told to make in github you need to copy and paste it somewhere so the password you are asking is that key so you should not put the password of your username or the login password it is not the login password instead it is the access key that it is asking so i would put my access key and see you in later so now i have put the password and all the branch is set so now the ter terminal part is finished that's it for the terminal part is that easy and it is also possible to make apps in kiwi by android now we visit our chrome browser to see all the files are set or not we'll refresh this and see and as you can see now all the files are there here so this is after we follow a new github way now go to actions and here in it we have we see that there is an app building so it is in process and this build is where our app is building and it is starting to build it would take couple of minutes like about 15 minutes you have to wait until that happens and after i'll show what you have to do as you can see the all the processes are completed now we just have to click on actions afterwards we'll see that this is the file where uh, our build, build yml was there so in previous one it was in init after i had done a few changes just come to update build dozer dot space now everything is done see it was a status of success now we'll go down and we can see that there is a package and we have to click on it and our apk should be downloaded the apk will be in the form of zip the apk will be in the form of zip and the zip you have to extract to get the apk back so the zip has been downloaded now we click on it and extract files too and select any of the files but for now we'll select the same file that we have the main.py i'll extract here and as you can see there is package one dot the folder we click on it and there you go we have our apk you can rename your apk anything but make sure the end is dot apk i'll name my rgb hx converter so i renamed my apk i click on it and it should ask for install and as you can see the logo i have given was became the logo here it was due to the icon dot file name change i have done in the builders dot spec until we wait for installing after installing if you have play protect then this might get rejected but that time you turn off your play protect and download again and also if you are facing any problem while downloading the package dot zip like is showing the file size then i have found a solution for it you hold this package link and click on copy click on copy link address and you paste the link address here and you should download perfectly yesterday the same problem occurred to me and i did this solution and it worked out now see my app is ready we click on our app and this was a loading gif i have given to the screen loading screen yeah as you can see now our app is done let's see if it is working perfectly fine now i'll go uh, to google color picker and we'll select a color and we'll copy the hx and paste it here so oh, it has become yes see we got our rgb perfectly fine now we'll do the same for rgb yeah it is loading again we'll paste it here and convert yeah now as you can see it is working perfectly fine so this is how you can build your own apk app using kiwi python on android so it is possible even by android and you do not need a computer to do this